Okay, now I am. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Penelope. I'm so excited that you're here. Hi. <laughs> I, we don't have yet our uh, other one of our volunteers. I don't know if you want to, to send a reminder on the... Yes, we'll do. Okay. So anyway, so uh, I guess you've already kind of discussed a little bit about how it went. And since it's part of the recording, we can also leave it at the, at the, um, at the end. But, and I also saw that most of you are already in the classroom in, um, is, yes. is that a true statement? I gave them, so I gave them access to see, let's say unit one and the book so that they could kind of have an idea how the program worked. Okay, and I think it would be a, a good idea to, to just go ahead and, um, and activate a, probably the rest so that you can also kind of, a, you can use the workbook because I don't know how it went in terms of time. Did you run out of material or was it enough? So personally, I think two things happened. Some students were, some teachers are actually a lot more advanced in English than we expected it while some weren't. Um, so I think with, for me, it took me an hour to go through the material. Um, so we were done by, yeah, so we were done in an hour. Uh, Hello, Lucrecia. Oh, I love your hair down like that. <laughs> Very good. So, um, okay, so then that means that we probably could use more material. Wait, can I just add something? First? Yes. It's just that in my class, like half of the group couldn't see the PowerPoint that I was sharing. So I had to improvise, like I didn't, they didn't have anything. So I kind of had to improvise with like what I have here. So that wasn't very fun to say. Wow, it was nerve wracking. It was probably super uh, well done and they didn't realize it, but you were, but you probably were like. I, I only had like three pictures of people. So I kind of worked with that, but I mean, that's the only issue I faced with like the material. Okay, so that that is a wonderful thing to that you mentioned because then we can all be ready with that for uh, like, for example, right now, we're going to have a unit where we're presenting our family. So you could have magazines in hand, pictures, uh, things that you have so that, uh, so that you can um, uh, make use of that, right? Okay, very good. So what we're going to do now is... Um, I want to walk you through the other units and the workbooks of the different units because I think you can have both the both uh, the PowerPoint that we'll send that it's kind of like you know the same workbook pieced out, um, or you can always use also the workbook. So um, I think I don't know if if uh, Luki and Penelope. Uh, can you send on the chat to Nicole uh, your email so so she can uh, join you in the classroom so you can be able to see the, the whole content of the of the classroom okay. and I don't know if uh, minor might be in uh, Larissa as well okay I'm going to share my screen Oh, I cannot share my screen, Nicole. Going. Um. And uh, Luki, Penelope, Larissa, Minor, uh, Tere, that is not here. Uh, thank you for that wonderful uh, day on Saturday and Sunday. We were uh, also commenting on how, imagine if you, if you think about it, trying to organize the efforts of a, of a whole government of volunteers abroad, national volunteers, and we did it. So congratulations. It was wonderful. It's so exciting. And, uh, and also to let you know that uh, the students, the graduating the class of 2020, 
they, I already have a, a roster of about 1200 students that we will activate next week in their licenses. So we are anticipating that we're going to have two more um, weekends of, uh, of classes with teachers and you know, kind of like smaller groups. And then we'll join a, very briefly into a, the, the graduating students. And then everybody will have a class and we'll probably have definitely more than three or four. Okay, that's exciting. So now I'm sharing my screen because we, time's flying today. What I wanted to do today is to be able to walk you a little bit through the class so that you know what are they seeing and that you can also explore. And since we've already practiced the skills and how to go, I'll just send you the, the, the new PowerPoint, which you can, you're most welcome to add to it. So, um, okay, so this is, let's say the, the, the course. You all probably are familiar with Classroom. So this is the stream, then you go to Classwork. And what they're asked to do is to first download the textbook, which you already have access to through the classroom. The textbook is what they're going to use um, as they go through the classroom. So let's see. You can tell somebody was following the elections. Okay, so here's the classroom. I have my book in another window. And what they are, they also have an organization exercise, which is kind of like say, how many hours are you going to study, set up your room and do and kind of a plan for success, let's say. Then we have um, our units and we, and we are working our units from the bottom to the top, kind of as filling a glass, kind of like a filling with knowledge, the glass of knowledge, something like that. So what we do is they start with unit one and the first thing they do is they do vocabulary. And each one of the exercises or of the uh, moments have a, have an explanation. So for example, here it says, open your book to page one. So there's, there's a vocabulary and the vocabulary is here in page one. And it's the same audio that's here. It models the words, model the words in, uh, that are here in the vocabulary and the expressions. Then, we go, actually this is, a, we go to our introductory dialogue and the same thing, it says, open your book to page one. What do you see in the picture? Que minas en la foto? And then a, they watch the video, they interact with the video, a, and we give them some of the cues as what is listened, what is repeat, student. And so they have their video, and in their video, the, the same thing, it's the same dialogue that first says listen oh, and students listen, then it says listen and repeat and then when it says, and then it freezes so that they can repeat. Hello, and then it gives them the option to student first person. So uh, the audio of the, of the first person is muted so that the students say the first person. And that's kind of how they go about the video. And then they have the exercises that they interact sometimes. There are like, I'm sure you've seen, you've used Ed Puzzle where you have a video and then it stops and you have to write something. So we have different types of exercises that are based also on the book. So the book is pretty important for them uh, because they kind, they kind of says, here in Spanish, it says, work each video following them on the book 
then with your book closed, and then repeat and interact in a, a how do you say, voz alta, a, out loud. And, and it says you can record yourself and compare your answers. So the idea with each one of these exercises is that they go about them and the same thing. They have like listen and repeat and then teacher okay. first, Who's student one? second, um, Her name is Emma. student answer, and then the, the answer is the is question Emma. is not given. They have the Great. book, but then we encourage them to then close the book and just do the video. So you need to practice it until you can get it done during the time of the video so that's that's all they practice during the during each unit and when they finish the unit then they go to their workbook right and so this is this workbook that they do they they would do unit one this is where you were using this is the images you were using right remember like when you were is this what's her name what's his name because they have practiced that and now you're using the illustrations to do more practice with them and they also have the audiobook they also have the the workbook in audio so that they can check their answers uh, by listening to the answers but then they also have um, but then they also have the answer keys, the answer key to, to, to the workbook so that they can check if their answers are, are correct. And after they've done that, then they have the quiz. So as you can see, it's pretty complete, but at the same time, there's not a lot of interaction with another person. So that is exactly where we come in, where we go and say, okay, everything that you've done now, we're going to kind of check that you, you are doing it correctly and give you the opportunity to actually practice it with other people, right? So that's kind of how, how it goes, or, or not kind of, that's how it goes. And on the quiz, they, they are asked to have at least, to get at least 80% on the, on the quiz and they can do it as many times. We encourage them when we, when we explain to them how it works, we encourage them to do their workbook without looking at the answer keys. We encourage them to do their quiz without checking answers because it's, it's not like a, an evaluation, but more like a, like a formative, um, it's an evaluation, but a formative evaluation, where the idea is for them to say, oh, I thought I had understood this, but I guess I didn't, and they, they can go back and check and this and that. So, so that's kind of the idea of the quiz. And then you go about the same thing, unit two, except that in unit two and all the units after that, in the vocabulary, they also have a, a video. So in the video, they, the vocabulary is presented and it's the, the one that it says there, go to page six and then, and then it presents the, the, the vocabulary, remember, as we, can, as, as we practice um, some weeks ago where it says listen to the word three times repeat the words two times okay. so here you blouse. hear a voice that it's blouse. saying blouse blouse blouse. Repeat. Blouse. blouse and then it says repeat blouse, blouse. and they are supposed to repeat blouse yes, and we tell them please repeat please say it out loud even if you're listen. alone Boot. in your Boot. room Boot. but we know Boot. that Boot. some of them might not do it out loud and that's Boot. where it's so important what is it? for you guys to come and now uh, practice with them. So yes. another thing Color. that you can Color. practice too is, is this Color. actual vocabulary and kind of say, uh, okay, let's do a run of the vocabulary. Uh, Nicole, read. 
And then she reads and then you can correct. Just that part is super valuable because they are doing this in self-study mode. So they don't, obviously they don't have somebody to tell them, yes, you said it correctly or not, other than, than the model. Listen, Jack. That's like the, that would be the one drawback, right? That we are over helping them overcome. And then uh, they have grammar videos from unit two to other units. They have grammar videos that they can go back to them all the time. Introductory dialogue, it's the same as we've already explained. And then the exercises and the workbook. And again, this is where we had that. Uh, remember this? Um, pictures that we used for our practice, okay? So we practice all the way to unit uh, four. We, uh, now we have a, what we can practice with them. They are in week, um, by now, they uh, should be on unit seven at least, okay? So we are going to practice a unit five, which the, in unit five, here we have the book, let me show you what are the grammar objectives of those. See, here is where we practice uh, how old is he, how old is she. Okay, this is loading. And you can come here also to your classroom. And if you, in the PowerPoint, we are mostly using the um, uh, the, the pictures, but you can also come here and use the workbook as practice, the actual exercises in the workbook or in the book if you feel that you're more, more comfortable. Like the first one, we kind of gave it to you very digested, let's say, but as you feel more comfortable, more comfortable, you can, you know, a kind of add, complement. The main thing is to stay a, on the grammar objective, to not like go more complicated, but to actually practice what they've seen. So what do they see in unit five? In unit five, what they see is present progressive. And you can go to the videos that are in classroom and watch the grammar videos to, to kind of see what is present progressive. You use present progressive all the time, but you might have not kind of stopped and think, what is present progressive? Except the ones, well, or maybe actually, yes, because to most of, of, of the ones who are here, a lot of us, English is our second language, so, or, foreign language. But anyway, so then unit five, we're going to now this, this um, Saturday or Sunday, we will be practicing present progressive. Present progressive is an action that ex um, expresses an action that we are doing now at the moment. And we practice present progressive only with he, she, it in this unit. So no, they are, but only he, she, it. He is drinking, she is buying, it is eating. So this is what we're going to practice. And you're going to find in your PowerPoint, these uh, slides where you will be asking, uh, where is he sitting? Where is she sitting? What is he eating? So you can use, um, you can use what, you can use where, those are question words that they've already seen. What and where. Um, and we, this, this is another one that it's 
that that uh, it's important um, to to pay attention the use of a and an. Usually, students really get get the a and an uh, pretty easily. Like if it starts with a vowel sound, you use an instead of a. What they don't get usually is why can you not say I am wearing a pants or he is wearing a red shoes? They would say that and they would like, why can I not say a? Ah? So then of course we explain a and an is one, it means it's the same as one, it's singular. So watch out for that one, you'll see about that. Uh, so this is where you're going to be practicing in unit five and you will have you will have your PowerPoint with the questions, the same as you did the last one. But again, if you run out of time, you can always uh, come to the workbook that now you will have. And also, you know, like if it happens that they cannot see our screen, we might have some pictures like of, uh, of people eating, of people reading, that we can, you know, have in a magazine or something that we can show in our screen, not, not present, but actually, you know, put the magazine to the camera and ask them, what is he doing? What is she doing? What is he doing? What is she doing? And just have a newspaper, a magazine or something on hand. That would be a good tip. Right, because we're going to use it to talk about present progressive and the actions that we that they know are buying, drinking, eating, reading, sitting. Of course, you're welcome to to present other pictures with other uh, actions. Just make sure they're actions that are kind of like you know frequent frequent, uh, kind of high frequency words, right? Like running, walking, you know, kind of like uh, think of the degree of difficult to not like, I don't know, what would be a, I don't know, skydiving, I don't know, I guess. Just be aware of the degree of difficult. That's my point. Okay. Uh, then we will, you will also practice unit six. Um, and in unit six, we are um, going to practice nationalities. That should be pretty fun. Nationalities um, and occupations, okay? So uh, you can, again, thinking ahead, if we cannot present, you know, you can have a, a map, again, a magazine, things like that, okay? And you can also uh, come up with other occupations or other nationalities. It's okay, just kind of, uh, you know, be aware of uh, the degree of difficulty. So in this, in for unit six, we will have, um, here we have the workbook again, and we have our pictures that have a nationalities and age and a, a name and occupation. And one thing that you can do here, if you want to, you can play with them. A, I don't know if you've all played, a, what's the name of that game? Guess who? Is it guess who, Nicole? A, you know where you have a where you have different um, different um, persons, and like for example, let's say 
Eh, okay, let's see. Penelope, think of a person. Think of a person that is here. But don't tell me who's the person. Okay. Okay. So are you a woman or a man? A woman. Okay. Are you um, are you um, European or American? European. Oh. Are you 29? Um, <laughs> um, Are you wait. 29? <laughs> um, yes or no? <laughs> I can see the number. Oh, you um, cannot see the number, okay. <laughs> Um, no. Okay. Are you German? Um, yes. Are you Lucy Kiel? How do you say that, Linda? <laughs> Lucy Kiel. Lucy Kiel. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Lucy Kiel? Yes. Very yes. good. Okay. So you can play something like that. Of course, here it's kind of like harder, but you can have a you can even make your own your own pictures where you have two people that are 26 or two or more than one Guatemalan, let's say. And then, and then it, it takes longer to guess. So that's another game that you can, that you can play. So now that you've paired, you know, a Spanish speaker with a, a non-Spanish speaker, like, like the teacher who's the Spanish speaker can, can uh, help and, and explain the game and then the other person can play it. So uh, this, is, this is what you can, what you can do, uh, something that you can do, okay? And so see here, in unit six, you are already working with R and M. Remember that I told you that in, that in unit five, we were just seeing third person, but here you are uh, M and R. This is the same game. Here in the book, they already, they have already played that game so they would be, it shouldn't be that hard to get them to play the game, right? Kind of like, guess who, guess who I am. Okay? So that should, that could be super fun. Um, then we have unit seven, where a, we are a, presenting the family. So that's also, that should be also a super fun activity. Uh, and so you can have each person present the family. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to send an email to all the students telling them to, to prepare a picture of their family. To have a picture of their family with them so they can present to you their family, okay? This is my brother, he is da da da. This is my father. And then of course, what you need to do is to correct them, right? If you, uh, if they say, this is my mother, uh, he is 53. And then you say, remember, mother, feminine, she, she is, okay? So what you would need to do is be aware of that. So you, if you want to, you can, you can have in hand a picture of your family and, um, and present your family and then give turns presenting their family. That would be as the activity for a unit seven. And you also have your workbook here 
that you can also use to, uh, to work with the students. In this case, um, we have, um, again, prepositions. Where is the drum? In the box. And we, this is also a, 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 for prepositions, but you have more prepositions to practice based on a, your vocabulary and you know what you've been working right and then you have more opportunity to present to them more a uh, vocabulary because like for, for example birdhouse birdhouse is not in the in the book so so prepare by thinking ahead of the words here because everything that you present they might ask you right and also um be aware to give them, you know, like a, you know, an easy a word and a, 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 like if, if, you know, umbrella, but I don't know if there's another way to say umbrella in, in non-American English, but I don't know, it, what, what was the time the other day that I asked you about the the oh the table and somebody said it's an end table or something or a coffee table so you know just say table so it's course one be as straightforward on the on the words and as they progress they will know more right now keep it at keep it at level one type thing okay so this is as far as we should go uh, in terms of content, but you are most welcome to use also your, um, the workbooks. If you run out of time, you can always go to the workbook. And, um, and we will, um, uh, and then the other weekend we will do course uh, unit eight and unit nine with the, the, the new content, okay? So, so anyway, so based on what you've seen right now, uh, ideas, suggestions, uh, also uh, this, this time we kind of said, um, okay, uh, our, our friends from, uh, Poland are running and then we have a helper. So this time we can kind of do split split because we all want to get a little bit in, <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, we were good hosts and hosts. So we want, you know, <laughs> and now you can kind of, uh, that you know uh, who you're paired with. You can, um, you can talk a little bit ahead and, a, and kind of do a 45 minutes and 45 minutes or something like that. So anyway, I'm opening right now the, the room for suggestions and ideas. <laughs> I think uh, the game will be very useful this week. Um, I think that type of interaction was missing, at least for me, um, last week. And the family should be pretty cool, too. I let them know to come with a, with a picture. And can the students have, let's say, the, the workbook or the textbook on hand? Um, because then they could also, um, let's say we could reference the page that we are practicing with. Um, sure. If they can't um, see the, the screen, for example. Ah, okay, that's a great idea. Okay, I'll tell them. 
I don't know if some of them might have printed the book, some of them might have it in the same device. And some of them, well, maybe the teachers, maybe they have more resources, but the students, they probably will only have their phone, which they will be using for the class and the, <laughs> so, but yes, I'll tell them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Just of course, it might not be exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So see, even these workshops are going faster now. Because <laughs> we're becoming experts. <laughs> Questions, comments? Do you have your, your, your joke? Remember we each one were going to tell a joke from our country. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll also compile a quick uh, document. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I'll compile a quick document with like the notes I took of what you said so people can also kind of access that um, a bit quicker. Um, in case you forget every single kind of like, okay, we mentioned the guess who game, the family and this type of stuff. Um, yes. And also if you yeah. haven't accessed the Google Classroom, let me know. And if you need me to resend you the invitation, um, just text in the group chat that you haven't accessed it yet. <laughs> <laughs> 